Hey guys, Replicators here. Just going through some allied rallies. And we already did a couple of these battles. Uh, so I joined this one. We're hitting a level 1 Barbarian Fort. Here we have two others. So Dread Chicken's leading it off. Uh, with the bulk of the troops. Uh, Killer Blink is um, here for the ride. I guess. And I sent everything I have, minus one catapults, because I sent my captain into shelter. Which is important, or you'll lose your bonuses if he gets captured. So I always do that with one troop. See that there? I got one catapult, one level one catapult. To keep him safe, because you Definitely don't want to lose those bonuses. Um, we actually, so once you hit a barbarian fort, let me see if I can find my favorites. All right. So here is the first one. Yeah, we lost uh, 8,000 dead total permanents. T1 and T2, no tier 3, so the 1 and 2 is acted like fodder like they should. So I've never actually seen one, so let's see what this battle looks like. I'm guessing it's just going to be like a standard um, castle hit. So we got a 4x on the speed. Of course, we have significantly more numbers than them, which is always good when you're attacking. You want to have more than the enemy, so you win. Doesn't make sense to attack and lose. Okay, so there's our reward. A wholesome, holy wholesome. And we had to identify that at the Barbarian Temple. And we got one for the other one. So we have one ripe, oh, two of them ripe for the picking. Ooh, woo, a five minute speed up. Okay, yes we do. Ah, 3K stamina. That one was worth it. So the second one was worth it. The first one, not so much. Uh, but you can have up to four treasures uh, being unlocked. They do take some time, and we'll show you that after we hit this one. Uh, so we have about a minute 30 for others to join. Okay, looks like we got some more people joining. And let's see where this is at. We got a nice mix. We probably have enough catapults that we don't need to send anymore. But we'll scout that one just because. We want to see that. So we got... 30,000 uh, tier 2 half orcs and 50,000 ish buried snakes tier 1. So, not that bad. So as you can see with the two chests that I opened, some of the rallies can be worth it. So you never know what you're going to get. Um, but you need at least two people to attack these barbarians. Fort. I do believe otherwise um, it gets canceled. But the way you set a rally while we're waiting on the march. Target it. Select rally. Oh, we already have a rally on that one. I guess we can't do that. All right, so here we go. Here's a five. We'll set a rally. Choose your time. And then you select your army. I would never do a five. At this point in the game, we would probably get slaughtered. There may be a couple, one or two people who could do that, but 
Uh, not too many that can hit them at this point in the game. We have uh, 35 seconds. I guess we'll wait and see. So it's good to practice rallying on barbs, uh, preparing to rally on other people. That will come in handy when temples are unlocked. So let's see. We got mail. And we are successful. Everyone heads back to their own castles at different marked times. All right, so we attacked. We got our treasure chest. We lost 3,600, almost 3,700 total between the four of us. So my troops, ooh, injured all my tier one infantry. Okay. All his and all his. All his, so that's good because uh, that's exactly what we want them to do is to act as fodder because they are cheaper to replace when killed and the injured ones heal instantly. Okay, nine seconds. Well, that's because we have some tier two gladiators. Okay, so then all you do is you come here and you hit identify and so a three hour timer per each uh, chest so keep it full get those rallies going thanks for watching hit that like and subscribe button uh, comment down below on what topics you would like to see uh, explained a little bit more and if i missed anything let me know thanks for watching